To all my rodent breeders out there, this video is for you because today's video is going to be about gravity fed watering systems. So check it out and we'll see some awesome stuff. Welcome back guys to another video. I'm Josue from Josue's Exotics and today's video is going to be about gravity fed watering systems. So if you're new to breeding rodents and you're just not starting to build your first rat racks, a gravity fed watering system is a must in my opinion because having to refill water bottles twice a week, two or three times a week is entirely too much for me. And this will give you guys a constant supply of water. That way you don't have to worry about your rats going without. So if you're new to breeding rodents, there are two types of people out there. You got people that breed rodents for pets, then you got people that breed rodents for feeders. Particularly, I like to breed mine for feeders because I like to try to keep all of my stuff in house here on the channel. So a lot of times when they're breeding rodents for feeders, they like to use rat racks. I didn't come up with the name rat racks, but I still love it nonetheless. So these are racks that are built specifically to house rodents, a couple of them, and these are breeding setups for mice or rats, depending on what you wanna do. But they are very useful for keeping everything low maintenance because we keep it a lot of animals, the tasks and things you gotta do weekly can really pile up. So cutting down on those tasks to get back to creating content is my main goal with doing this little project here. So let's go ahead and switch sides over here we'll get started and I'll show you what I got so this is pretty much everything you're gonna need for your gravity fed watering system all these products you see here was purchased from reptilebasics.com which is a pretty awesome company based out of North Carolina that sells a lot of reptile and amphibian products as well with rodent breeding accessories so what we got here first off I think we should start with is the little kit here you can buy this comes in a bag I'll have prices on the right side of the screen so that way you guys can check this out as we're going along with the video. This is your fitting that we're going to mount to our bucket here and we also have a quick connect here and one thing I will mention is this has an anti drain back valve in it so it will not let water out if you disconnect the quick connect from the gray piece from the blue one here basically. And it also comes with a water filter so we purchased two of those. They sell a rebuild kit. For the watering nozzles, I purchased one of those as well because I got some old ones I want to fix up and put them back. We got our watering nozzles up here. We got our 3 16th tees in a 10 pack. We got our clamp loop with screw pack and that's 10 of those, 10 screws, 10 clamps. And we got a lot of our nipple clamps here. This is what holds them to the grate. So we also purchased two other products. They do sell this on Reptile Basics. You can get a five gallon, a four gallon bucket, I believe, and you can get the tubing, but I decided to get that at obviously O'Reilly Auto Parts and I bought that there as well. They do sell a four gallon bucket with the quick connect and everything all together that you can purchase from them as well. But I figured why not give me a little something to do and do things a little bit different, put a little bit bigger bucket and we'll modify some things as we go along through time. So the very first step for me personally is to go ahead and start getting the hole drilled for the bottom of the bucket here where our blue piece here is gonna go. So this is so crucial because you do not wanna make this hole super duper big because you wanna have a good tight seal here for the O-ring on the back. As you can tell, this hole is pretty much the same size as the screw itself and you can easily just kinda of screw it down into the bucket itself. This is kinda of like what you wanna have for your tightness on that. Now we gotta flip our bucket over. I drilled this out using a step drill bit. You can use a regular drill bit, however you wanna get it done, just make sure you drill a hole in the bottom. So I gotta wash this bucket out too, so don't trip about that, you know what I mean? But, cause uh, I, this is the original bucket that I was using. So now we just gotta put our fastener onto the bottom. And that will lock it in and seal it to make sure we get good, good seal. Booyah. So we got this installed on our bucket here. And now the next thing we got in the little kit is the drain valve here. So this super duper easy. It just goes in. You find the right slot that it pushes into. Boom. Now it's locked in and wide open. As soon as you turn it, it closes back up. No more water will come out the bottom. You can pull it on out and interchange it out. So put that back in. And what we're gonna do for this piece is we're gonna 
put up some hose, probably put it like around here and we'll cut a little small piece and we'll continue on down to the rest of the water and supply. So for step number two, I want to get you guys in here on the rodent racks. So on the left side, you can see this is one we're going to upgrade and get the new watering system onto. And this on the right side, I had a pre-existing watering system that started to leak, but now I'm repairing it and making it better again. So as you can tell, this is where the T's and the individual sectional pieces of hose will come in handy because you need to put a T at each individual rat spot that you're going to be keeping them at. And then you have to put a little piece of hose to run down to your watering nipple and that will be put together like shown. So for the last step is installing our water receptacle to the top of our rat rack, which means it's just as simply as just sitting it up here. And then we got to cut our hose to length so that way we can go ahead and get our water filled up and start it. I mean, it's just as simple as just, you know, bye bye like that but we'll put it together in just a minute because like i said i gotta cut this little piece here and that'll pretty much do it guys i'll show you a couple little after images of when we get the water put in and everything running together maybe we can see some little droplets coming through here to fill that on up but appreciate you guys coming through hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video pretty awesome gravity fed watering system make sure you check it out reptile basics and if you like this video hit that like button down below subscribe to the channel for more content guys so this guys is a new hookup of the gravity fed watering system i finally got it to stop leaking just got to do a little bit of tweaking and we are in there guys locked in and now we should be getting water